Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. And this morning, I'd like to capture my thoughts with the words, killer desires. You know, I was reading the story of Sodom and Gomorrah, you know, in Genesis, where, where I mean, um, God sends angels to destroy the city. And Lot takes those angels in. Angels of destruction have been sent. And then the Bible says the men of Sodom saw the, those angels and they wanted to reverse scripture. You remember, the Bible says, and when the sons of God saw that the daughters of men were, 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 were uh, beautiful and pretty, they, they began to have affairs with them and then they gave birth to, to all sorts of people, you know. Now this time, the, the, the men of Sodom saw angels, so the sons of men saw that the sons of God were, were handsome and decided to have uh, kind of the knowledge of them. And the Bible said that something happened, dramatically happened. Now, when Lot stood in between the men of uh, Sodom and then the angels and said, listen, you, you, you can't, I can give you my daughters. My daughters are, are friends, they're not married. I give you my daughters. They said, no, 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 we want the men. And guess what? The angels then said to uh, Lot, you stand aside, we're gonna teach these people a lesson and struck them all blind. And all those people who were pursuing the angels who have a kind of knowledge of them, got blind. Now, my biggest shock, you want to, to damage somebody, you want to rape somebody, and then the person mentions abracadabra, and all of a sudden, you go blind. Huh? What will you do? Yours is to go down your knees and beg. I beg you, please restore my sight. But the Bible says, look at the men of Sodom and Gomorrah. The Bible said, even though they have been struck blind by an, an, an act of the supernatural, by a supernatural act of the angel, by a, it was a, for me, it was a big issue. It, it didn't even face them. But even in their blindness, they, they, they still craved and they were still looking. In their blindness, they were groping in the dark to find the angels to sleep with them. Oh boy, desire with, I mean, here's the point. God has given you indications, indications, indications. Be careful. And all the, and things have happened adversely and things have happened negatively and all the warning signs are there. Those men, they were so blinded by lust. They were so blinded by desire that it, it, it fudged their mental faculties and, and colored their brain with, with milk of desire. That they couldn't think straight. And they were in danger. Their lives were imperiled. Their eyes had been removed. They had been struck blind. And they were still groping. These are killer desires. You know what? You have a choice to mess around with killer desires. But it don't get you fight, it only get you in death. In the end, the whole city was wiped out. It was wiped out. God said, ah, I can't even tolerate them. Wipe them out. Don't be a candidate for the wipeout because you gave vent to the killer desires. Choice is always yours. See you later.